Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about how to create one to one mapping in Altrix. So add here uh, for one to one, you need to uh, take uh, one input data, track inside the workflow. And uh, here uh, next is connect a uh, file or a uh, database. So let's uh, click on drop down here data source. So you can select anyone data source. So my favorite data or uh, source data this is Microsoft SQL Server. So going to connect with the first SQL Server. So here connection name. So you can give for uh, any meaningful or uh, connection name. So I give test SQL. Give add here host name local host and here going to use SQL authentication and here get the password click on test connection ok select the database now ok so one to one mapping going to perform so here select the database and or going to select our department now here let's make that bigger and here going to select this all columns and we can perform add here grouping sorting aggregate function we can use it let's click on ok so here the source uh, part has been done now let's go to the target so here i used to sql server this time i'm going to use add here csv so here file you can select uh, any file type so here I'm going to use the uh, csv and here going or uh, get the file name let's give abc click save the file is empty there is nothing now let's uh, establish the link here control s to save there is uh, no data available click on run Now here there is a uh, uh, workflow run successfully and 24 record it's a uh, display. Now if you want to see the records here you need to go on Ruby here ABC double click on it and here you can see this all record loaded from the SQL server into ABC file. So this is the way we can perform simple workflow or simple mapping using Artrix Designer. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next time.